In this video we will be looking at dictionaries. A dictionary can also be called a key value store, an associative array, or a map. But what is a dictionary? And, how can we implement one? An intuitive, real-life example of a dictionary is a library. If you want to read a certain book, and if you know the book's title and author or the ISBN, you can search for the book in the library. Every book has a unique key, which is the ISBN. Each key is associated with a value, for instance the location of the book, or a digital version of the book itself. The most basic operation of a dictionary is, search. We have a key, and we want to search for the value of that key. A classic data structure to implement a dictionary is a binary search tree. Here we see a binary search tree with some keys. In our example, we just show the keys, and not the values. Let's say, you want to find the item with key 6 in this search tree. We always start at the top of the tree, which is the so-called root. This tree is organized as follows, every node in the tree is a key. Nodes in a binary search tree have at most one left and at most one right child. As you can see, all keys with a smaller number than the root node with key 7 can be found when going to the left child of node 7. And all keys with a higher number than 7 can be found when going to the right child of node 7. This is not only true for the root node, but for all nodes. For a smaller number than the current key, go to the left child. For a larger number go to the right child. Now we can recursively start at the root, and find our key. For instance, if we try to find key 6, we must go left, because 6 is smaller than 7. When arriving at node 4, we must go right because 6 is larger than 4. Then we find node 6, which is the key we were looking for. If we want to add keys to the dictionary, we need an insert function. How would you go about inserting the key 2 in this search tree? Pause the video to think about this for a minute. If we want to insert a key, we run a normal search. And then we insert the key in the first empty spot we find. If we find a node that already has the key, then we do not insert anything, because every key should be unique. How about deleting keys? If a key does not have any children, then deleting is essentially the same as inserting, we simply search for the key, and then delete it. But what if we want to delete a key which has a child? For instance, how can we delete key 4? Any idea? As before, we run a search and delete the key. Since this time the key we want to delete is not a leaf node, we cannot simply delete it, as the tree would fall apart. In this case, we replace key 4 with a key that does not have any children. Essentially, we search for the smallest larger key. We can find this key, by first going to the right child, where all the larger keys are. Then we always go left to find the smallest larger key. In this case, the right child of key 4 is directly a leaf node without children, so we can simply replace key 4 with key 6. If a dictionary supports only the search operation, it is called static. And if we can insert keys or delete keys, the dictionary is called dynamic. How efficient are binary search trees? What is the time complexity to search a key? The time complexity of a search is directly given by the number of steps we have to take until we find the key. This is known as the depth of the key. What is the worst case for a search in a binary tree? If we have a tree that degenerated to a list, our search time complexity is linear in the number of keys. This is costly if we have a tree with many keys. Can you think of a possible solution to this problem? We can have a search tree algorithm that actively makes sure that the tree is always in balance. Many such algorithms exist, and the time complexity of these algorithms is only logarithmic in the number of keys stored. But there are other solutions. Some algorithms for instance try to store keys that are accessed often, close to the root of the tree. Keys which are accessed rarely are then further away from the root. In conclusion, in this video we have seen what dictionaries are, and how we can implement fundamental operations in a dictionary using a binary tree. We have discussed the difference between static and dynamic dictionaries. And we have discussed the time complexity of binary search trees. Thanks for watching this video.